Hi, this is Jeff from the New Janky Workshop. And I have a thing for butter knives, apparently. Forge one out of a hitch pin. Made one on the bandsaw. Stolen in Scotland. Oh wait, those are not butter knives. And now, I've made them with lasers. So I found some images of some butter knife styles that I liked and I brought them into Illustrator and used the pen tool to outline the shape, going around the entire thing, then simplifying those lines to kind of smooth them out. Now I'm just playing around with the anchors and the corners to get like the desired shape that I want, playing with the length a little bit. Now that I'm satisfied with that, I'm making a copy and putting an oval over it to make the handle shape that I want that will go on either side of the butter knife. And doing the same thing with another style butter knife that I made earlier. And now placing some circles on here where the dowels are going to go through and bind the knife to the two handles on the side of the knife. And just doing this for the other style knife here as well. And now I'm just doing a test print using some walnut plywood to see how this looks and to see if it's thick enough because this is eighth inch walnut plywood before moving on to hardwood. Then I move on to hardwood here. I do cherry, poplar, oak, and maple to give me the four different styles and species of wood that I have here. And then it's on to assembly. First I take the different species and I mix and match them to see what I like the best. Now that I have all those matched up, it's now time to start sanding. And for my first two versions of these butter knives, I did hand sanding. Well, almost fully hand sanding. I'm using this Milwaukee oscillating multi-tool thing to help me sand. But I'm using Glowford proof grade materials. So this has a layer of varnish on the top and the bottom. And I need to sand all that off. So this process took a long time. And you can see that I had a few more to do, so I opted to use my spindle sander to help speed up the process. Just cutting some dowels to length. And once I've done with that, then I start assembling each of the knives. And I'm just using Type Bond 3 because it's water resistant. And since these are going to be butter knives, they're going to get washed, so they're going to get wet. So I decided on Type Bond 3 for this application.
you want to also butter your own bread with knives made from lasers, check out the description below. I've got links to the SVG files so you can cut these out yourself and make your own wooden butter knives.